race. Um, I knew some of the girls were a little faster than me on the run. And uh, I just told myself if they were close to me on the bike, I'd let them catch me. Otherwise, I'd throw it and just try to stay ahead on my own on the bike and just do the best that I could. And fortunately, that worked out today. So, um, with the bike, you had a pretty good lead for a while. Did you, did you see the other cyclists coming? Did you know like you kind of had to keep hammering it so you had that advantage on the run? Yeah. Um, on the second lap, I knew they were just over a minute back. And then each consecutive lap, um, a few people were yelling out at the time, which was really helpful. So I knew they were gaining, but not gaining enough where I would wait for them. It was about two to five second gain each lap. Okay, so I'm glad I held them off. And uh, you have... Uh, are part of the USA Triathlon Collegiate Recruitment Program, like the end. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, I just finished some season at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Um, I started triathlon two years ago, but I took a year off when I studied abroad last year. So um, this is kind of my first year really being in the sport, and I've learned a lot just starting craft legal races, and my coach, Greg Mueller, has been a great help. He's really taught me a lot this year. And so what's next for you? Are you racing tomorrow? Are you, uh, um, do you have yeah. other races coming up this season that you're looking forward to? I plan to race tomorrow in both the Olympic and the mixed team relay. However, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the Olympic because I just came off a foot injury and I haven't run this last month. So I'm glad I made it through that race and I don't want to push it, so we'll see. But our relay is gonna be really fun, so at least I want to get through that. Good, well congratulations. Thank, Thank you so much.